Doctors know there's a genetic component to obesity. A new study ex helps explain how it works. The research finds people with the obesity gene are likely to have more of a hormone that makes them hungry. Dr. Louis Aroni directs the weight control program at New York Presbyterian Wild Cornell Medical Center. Welcome. Thank you, Char. Oh, so let me begin with this. What's the significance of this and what's different about it? What this study shows is how this particular obesity gene, one of many genes that are associated with obesity, works. What it does is it increases the level of a hormone that makes you hungry, called ghrelin. It comes right. from the stomach, makes you hungry. It also increases the brain sensitivity to the hormone. Mm -hmm. We have known that there are obesity genes, but this, this is significant, and how will it change the way we treat people? Well, there are a couple of ways that it could help us. Number one, when we do research studies, we look at everybody as the same. We know that one in six people have this gene. These people may respond differently to the treatment. It's already been shown that people with this gene respond differently to bariatric surgery. Now we may know why, because they have higher levels of this hormone. As you lose weight, the level of the hormone increases. When you eat a meal, the level of the hormone goes down. Now we may be able to have a test that can pick out people who respond or don't respond to any given treatment. Huh, so what do you do about that hormone? Well, there are a couple of things. One of the things that's been shown is that a high-protein diet suppresses the hormone. Do people on a high-protein diet do better or worse? Now we have this genetic test which links to, to the protein diets. But, but is it true that people on high-protein diets do do better? They do in the short run, but now, again, we have a test that could pick out people who might do better. Which people? So when you do these kinds of studies, you see that some people do very well, some people don't do well, and on average, everyone does the same, no matter what kind of diet you give them. It could be that we can pick out people who are going to do better or not. So if someone at home is thinking, wow, this could be me, how do you get tested to find out if you have this gene? Right now, this is still a research technique, but I would predict that within just a few years, we'll be able to do a test and see if someone's going to do better or worse on any given treatment. Dr. Louis Aroni, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you.